right, everybody. Blessings to you, those of you that are on Facebook and those of you that are on the Zoom software. I pray that you're doing good on today, everybody. As you come in, would you mind saying hello to me, those of you that are on the phone line and those of you that are on the Zoom software. God bless your heart. I thank you very, very much uh, for being on on today. Let's see, I'm getting my little things together here. Uh, blessings to all of you. Good morning, Miss Veronica. How are you? Uh, uh, let my little friend know you said I was praying for him this morning. So I pray he's doing good. Hello. Good morning, Reverend Nancy White. How are you on today? I pray that you're doing really, really good. And I do. I pray that you're doing really, really good on today to all of you. Thank you so very much for being on uh, and watching with us. Spread the word, share it. Let somebody else know, hey, he's on now. Baby. You need to get on. You need to get on. All right. You need to get on. And uh, let's see what God uh, has to share with us, what God wants to say to us on today. Now, um, I am trying to figure out, those of you on the phone line, thank you again. Hello, good morning, Miss Monica. Uh, one of the richest ladies I know. <laughs> I'm very appreciative. And you know what? Really, a lot of you all, I guess maybe it's because of um, uh, being today is Saturday. Uh, but Monica, you really, you was in my mind this morning too in my prayer time. Uh, and I remember that dream that I had about you last week. So we are believing God. <laughs> I am believing God uh, with you and for your success to all of you. Thank you very, very much. Invite and, and share uh, this with somebody. Now, I don't know how last time it let me do a, what they call a watch party, but uh, it's not letting me do that this time on, on Facebook, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But anyway, I thank you very kindly for being on with me. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that's what I needed to do. All right. So everybody, please know that I am so appreciative of you being on with me on today. Thank you. And I cannot say thank you enough. The reason for this, and I want you to hear me. I don't want you to take this for granted. I am so appreciative of many of you that have been following us on Facebook, on social media, on uh, just the different things that we have been doing. And we, you know, we've been having online media uh, for quite a bit of time now. We've been having online uh, media uh, for quite some time, and I am grateful to God uh, for it. Uh, a lot of people have been blessed, uh, have been encouraged, and so I, I, I thank you uh, for watching with me. You know, I really do thank you for watching with me, uh, for praying with me, and all of this, uh, because I could not have done it without you. So uh, many of you know, years ago when we went to California, the Lord told us to start doing this, and this is what we have been doing. And so I'm very, very grateful uh, for your support, okay? I want you to know that uh, Dr. Mosley is very much appreciative of your support. So y'all keep praying with me. Will you do it? Keep praying. Keep telling others about what we're doing and invite them to be on. And, uh, you know, I do a lot on social media, but I have received so many testimonies so many uh, praise reports. So I said, okay, God, what's that old song, Sister White? I believe I'll run on and see what the end gonna be. I can hear your mother right now in my ear. Hey, <laughs> Hallelujah. So I pray you're doing good, everybody. I pray that you really are having a great day in God and that you are really excited about what God is doing and what God uh, uh, even desires to do more in our lives, okay? So I thank you very, very, uh, thank you very, very much. Those of you that are coming in, I appreciate you. Uh, several of you are are coming in, uh, and thank you for uh, getting, uh, giving us the, the, letting you know that you are watching us. I really do appreciate you very, very much. Uh, so now I need to go into uh, the Word of God. I need to uh, encourage somebody. In fact, not that I need to, I want to encourage. Now, I... Um, I have uh, uh, some been putting out uh, what I'm doing right now. They got me where you invite people to come on. Okay. How you doing, Cherie? Good morning, Sister Farmer. How are you? I pray that you're doing really, really good uh, to all of you. Now, let's see if I can go into uh, scripture on today. 
And let's see what God has to share with us right now, okay? So I want to, um, uh, let's see, can I go here? I want to go back to what we have been talking about, all right? Uh, I want to go back into what we have been talking about. We have been talking about thinking outside of the box, Think outside of the box. So everybody, I want you to grab this in your spirit. We got to think outside of the box. Now, somebody right there for me, think outside the box. I know you, 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 you're you, smart and intelligent. I just want you to do it because I wanted to get into your subconscious mind. Think outside the box. Now, I'm going to go and uh, read the scripture. We're coming from, where is this? First Kings, the 17th chapter, just to get caught back up a little bit. Uh, 1 Kings 17 chapter, sometime later, the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, go at once, go at once to Zarephath. Ooh, yeah, in the land or the region of Sidon and stay there. I have directed a widow there to supply you with food. So he went to Zarephath. When he came to the town gate, a widow was there gathering sticks. He called to her and asked, would you bring me a little water in a jar so I may have a drink? As she was going to get it, he called and bring me, please, a piece of bread. The preacher got hungry, y'all. Then sometime later, the brook dried up. Uh, because there had been no rain. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I got to go to my next slide here. Uh oh, where my slide going? Come on. And as surely as the Lord your God lives, she replied, I don't have any bread, only a handful of flour in a jar and a little olive oil in a jug. I'm gathering a few sticks, just, just a few. <laughs> Why? Because my expectation now is that I'm going to eat this and die. Okay. Elijah said to her, verse 13, Do, don't be afraid. Now, I need somebody to stop right there. Write this for me. How are you doing? Uh, write this for me. Don't be afraid. I, I, I really want somebody to write that. Don't be afraid. It's just, I, and I, I really feel like prophesying today. And, and you know, when I say that, it's because I feel the, the energy or the anointing. Don't be afraid. Fear is what grips us. Fear paralyzes us. Now, that's not really in my notes, but I hear the Lord saying that for somebody. Don't be afraid. This is not the time to get nervous. This is not the time uh, to start shaking in your boots. This is the time to really prove you have faith. I've been saying this, everybody. I really want you to grab this. Everybody got to grab this, okay? God is saying, I need you to prove who you really are. We can do all this talk, you know, I'm this, I'm the right reverend, I'm, I'm prayed, I'm saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. And that's good. But now when the problem come or when the trial comes, we like, oh God, what am I going to do? Oh God, where is all of your confidence? Where is all of your faith? I come to tell you how you doing, Sister Chatham. Don't be afraid. Fear will cause you to lose the battle. All right. Everybody got to understand that. Good morning, Abena. How you doing, Sister Wallace in, in Michigan? I know you tried to contact me. Please uh, try to contact me again. All right. I'm so sorry. I was not able to, to uh, return your call, uh, but definitely give me a call back. All right. Listen, God is talking to somebody right now. I need you to realize this. Don't be afraid. OK, don't be afraid. Look at what he says here. Let's move on and see what scripture, he said, don't be afraid, go home, do as you have said, but first make a small loaf of bread for me from what you have, from what you have, and bring it to me, and then make something for yourself and your son. Make mine first, and then for you and your son, but that's only going to give us a little bit. Follow the instructions. Now, somebody write that for me really quickly on the, uh, on the line. Follow the instructions. Sister Chatham, follow the instructions. Abena, follow. Follow the instructions. All of this is going to make sense, I promise you, everybody, okay? Follow the instructions. There's a blessing in your obedience. 
There's a black, we don't like that word, I know. Oh, we don't like that word, obe, obe, obedience. Ugh, I can't even say it, obedience. Ugh, ugh, I don't, ooh, Lord, he said I got to obey. But follow the instructions, okay? I know it may go contrary to what you are believing or what you may be, uh, have experienced before, but follow the instructions of the, of the man of God. Follow the instructions, okay? And he said, in the word of God, he said, now, Fix me mind first, verse 14, for this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. The Jonah, this is his prophetic ear. His prophetic ear kicked in and he started prophesying, all right? His prophetic ear kicked in and he started prophesying. This is when I say I feel the prophetic anointing, I feel like prophesying. That means my ear is opening. My ear is opening and I'm starting to really hear. Now, many people already know this. Some of you do not. I'm deaf in my left ear. When I started in the prophetic ministry, I had both of my ears. But this one was the one I would always hear, the Spirit of God. Now, and when I went deaf, I just said, okay, Lord, maybe you really want me to focus on you. Just focus on. And I tell anybody, I focus, I trust this ear. I trust what I hear in my spiritual ear, all right? So we got to trust God, trust the prophet, trust what God is saying, even into your spirit. Trust the spirit of God, all right? Follow the instructions. The word of the Lord says the jar of flour will not be used up and the jug of oil will not run dry until the day the Lord sends rain on the land. She went away and did as Elijah had told her, so there was food every day for Elijah and the woman and her family. For the jar of flour was not used up, and the jug of oil did not run dry. Now, did you catch that? It did not run dry. You are not going to be depleted. Now, I'm skipping some things that I need to get to uh, uh, some spiritual truths here. I want you to understand this. We talked about this on Tuesday. God knows where you are regarding your situation. A benna, I, I bless God, your name just pops up in my head. God knows where you are right now in your situation. He knows everybody. Well, I only have X, Y, and Z. He knows where you are, Sister Farmer. He knows what you have. Tracy Roberts, blessings to you. He knows what you have. He knows, well, I only have 20 cents left, but God is ready to give you a miracle, a financial increase with that 20 cent. God is ready to do something profound for you. Are you ready to trust and really believe God? Hmm? So God knows where you are. I need you to understand this. God sends the prophet to radically change your way of thinking. God sends the prophet to radically change your way of thinking. I am here today, even, I mean, to radically, that means to really mess your mind up. When it looked like you're about to just go all kaput, God will say, no, here I come. I only got $20 for my bills, and I come to say, I want you to sow $10. That's half of what I got. Man, I ain't got, I, I don't have nothing else. I come to tell you, every bill will be paid in the next 24 hours if you trust the word of the Lord. Huh? Are you for real? Yes. Get ready for it. Anybody ready for a miracle? I'm, I, you know, that sounds redundant, but I am very serious. I, you know, I can definitely say I thank God for my miracle, for my ministry. Because I have several of you that are on here right now is because I have prophesied to you and you have received the manifestation of that prophecy. One young lady, she's on here right now, Sister Veronica. She's on the Zoom software. The doctor says she could not have children. Well, she has two wonderful angels right now. I come to tell you, God is, I prophesy, you will. That was years ago. And I used that testimony. A gentleman called me not too long ago, said, me and my wife cannot have children. I said, oh, I started rubbing my hands. I said, oh, that's one of my specialties. Let's believe God. <laughs> God is able. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Is there anything too hard? God can do all things. And then I got one preacher I know, but well, Dr. Moses, God did that. You you don't want to take no glory for that. No, I want you to understand he empowered me to pray and he moved by the words of my prayer. I don't want you to demean the office of the prophet either. 
Are you following what I'm saying? God is God. He, you know, God, he, he knows he gets the glory, but don't demean the, the prophetic office. Don't demean the preacher. Don't demean your husband. Don't demean your wife. Well, God did this. Yes, but that's the servant of the Lord. Somebody write this for me. I am a servant of the Lord. That's why, Sister Renee, it's a dangerous thing when people mistreat us. I need some hearts right here. Can I get a few hearts right here? You know, you got to remember, I am a servant of the Lord. Be cautious. Be careful how you treat me. Be careful. Anybody grabbing what I'm saying? Be careful how you treat me. Why? Because I am a servant of the Lord. Does that make sense? I am a servant of the Lord. Be careful. Oh, you don't want to mistreat the anointing one. You don't want to do that, okay? So let's understand. Let's let's go back. Uh, uh, another spiritual truth. There is always a prophecy or a radical thought for you. There's always a word. But now here's the, here's the, the thing. You got to mix that word with the sacrificial action of faith. In other words, I'm, oh, well, he's a ego. We got to give a $1,000. No. Now, that may be what it is, but sometimes you just got to go and step out and trust him. You got to maybe go like that woman that went to the unjust judge. That woman, a woman did not have no rights back then. So she, the sacrifice was for her to even step out and go to the judge. In other words, you're going to have to have action. You got to act upon this. Am I making sense? You're going to have to act upon this. Where are my hearts? I, 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 I need my hearts on today. <laughs> Can I get a few hearts right there? Those of you that are, am I making sense? Those of you that are on the Zoom software, am I making sense? Monica, I thank God. I am a servant of the Lord. You've got to believe that. And you've got to mix your faith with action. All right, let, let me move a little bit further. Uh, understand this, the offering, when you give an offering, everybody, when you, because you see the cash app is there. Uh, 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 we know that. Uh, and, and ooh, Lord, help me. Get away from stingy people. Christopher Vitale, how are you? Now, Christopher, you told me the other day that you're getting married. That's wonderful. Get away from people that don't want you to have a successful marriage or a successful wedding. Some say, oh, I wouldn't spend all that money on this. And I understand that to a certain degree. Now, I don't believe in spending $10,000 on a wedding and you don't have nowhere to live. Now, that's, that's understandable. But now, some people, they just don't want you to enjoy life. And I want to encourage you right now, enjoy life. Some people say, I wouldn't spend that much money on a watch. Well, no, this is not a watch. This is a timepiece. <laughs> Right? This is a, 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 a time piece. That's what they call it now. You know, get away from stingy people. You know, in church, you, when you find people that don't want to give, Cherie, I thank you so much. You've already sent your offering. When you get around people that say, honey, I wouldn't give to no preacher. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't. Those are people that have a problem with money and they struggle with it. They struggle with it. They wouldn't even give twenty dollars. I wouldn't get. You know, you gonna leave that big of a tip? Yes, because I am. I, I'm able to handle it. I think they deserve it. So here it is. I don't have no qualms about money. But when you give in the Lord's service, when you give, even today, the offering is not for you to get rich quick, but it's for you to be sustained. The prophet told the girl, the young lady, rather. Fix mine first. Sister White, I want you to write this for me. I am being sustained. I hear the Lord saying that. I am being sustained. How you doing, Sister Tammy Seals? Blessings to you. Somebody need to write that. I am, Sister, sister uh, um, uh, Catherine, I am being sustained. Are you are y'all catching that? Why? Because you are a giver. You are a giver. And and our oh, blessing. Thank you, Sister Farmers. This is confirmation. God, you are being sustained. You are being sustained. God, because you are giving, you are sowing. 
Does that make sense to somebody? This is why the Lord is telling you, I, I'm going to sustain you. Why? Because I'm going to give to you. When you give to the prophet of God, when you give to God's servant, it sustains you. She was about to eat a last meal and die. Everybody got that, right? Brother Roberts, oh, oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. I, 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 I did something wrong. Hold on here. I got to go back to my slide. <laughs> I got to go back to my slide, but I need you to realize something. God is saying, and I apologize for that, everybody. God is saying, I need you to be sustained. I need you to be sustained. I need you to know that I am with you. I am prospering you. Are you catching what I'm saying? I am opening doors for you. So I want you to realize this, that you got to be sustained because of your gift. Your gift is what's sustaining you right now. Your gift is making it happen right now. Everybody understanding that? The Bible said that the barrel, that the barrel of meal and the cruise of oil will not be empty. And I come. To, I always thought about it like this. Could it be, y'all, that even when it looked like it got empty, they, somebody came and filled that refrigerator back up? Maybe a surprise check came in the mail and filled that refrigerator back up. Hmm. I, 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 I don't know how it happened. I just thank God that it did happen. God is moving for somebody right now. I want you to believe in the power of God. God is doing it. Now, let's look at the prophet. Both of them, the prophet and this, this lady, had to come to the realization in order to survive, we got to think outside the box. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it looked like you just want to stay. I, this is what I'm used to. But God is saying, Nancy White, ooh, we, you got to think outside the box. Well, I'm, I'm over the age of 50. Can I do this? Can I really... Past this course, is my brain still that sharp? You know what, Nancy? I'm so proud of you. That's why I hope you're not embarrassed. I'm so proud of you that you proved it, that yes, you your brain is sharper than ever, and you did it with straight A's. I come to encourage you. Somebody else can do the same thing, but you got to think outside the box. You got to think outside. Both parties need a miracle. Now, we got to think outside of the box, even for the prophet to go to the widow woman. And I've had that issue, y'all. I'm telling you, I really have. I've had that issue of telling people, well, I hear the Lord uh, uh, saying this. I told, talked to Valentia the other day and said, you know, I heard the Lord tell me this. I, I, and she would tell me, one of my cheerleaders, Pastor, don't you back down. You do what the Lord tell you to do. Don't you ever back down because we know that it works. So you trust in what God is telling you to do. So he had to go to this widow woman. She already don't have that much in the first place. He had to become filled with the anointing to tell her, fix mine first, because that seems selfish. You just thinking about yourself, oh, prophet Elijah. No, I'm thinking about what God is telling me to do. Elijah and the widow had to go beyond the face of death to acquire a miracle. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to think outside of the box right now. Ooh, thank you. I feel the anointing. Can somebody give God a heart right there? Give God a heart right there. Sister Wallace, I, I don't know if you're still on, my dear, but you got to think, I feel the Holy Ghost. Think outside of the box. God has great things in store. You just got to keep thinking. God, is there anything too hard for you? No. Thanks of God, the Lord is talking. Some people are so focused on what's inside the box until we don't see what's on the outside. We're so busy. Well, ooh, uh, all I got is trouble in this little apartment. Ain't nothing good in here and da-da-da-da-da. You're looking at, no, stop focusing on so much of what's inside the box. You don't even take a moment to just see what's on the outside. Take a moment. Now, there's a reason why. Think you got to think outside of this box. Somebody, I, I, I was... I was born in this neighborhood. I'm going to stay in this neighborhood. You really want to go outside of it, but you don't see a way out. You can do it. I, I've been in this job for five years now, and I don't want to go nowhere. I, well, I do want to go somewhere, but then I just don't know if I can. And I don't know if I'm really qualified. You can do this. Now, somebody write this. I can do this. Somebody write this. I can do this. 
I can, you better ask it, Nancy White, I can, I can go back to school. And not only did the girl go back to school, excuse me, the woman went back to school. She's a teacher. She started teaching. She was so good to ask her to come back and teach. Would you teach what we've taught you? We'll even pay you. I hope I'm not getting too much of your testimony, Nancy. Ooh, prophet, talk too much. I'm sorry, but I'm just so proud of you. Saints of God, you got to think outside. I don't know if she even went to the school thinking about teaching, but as she kept going, somebody said, ooh, that's teaching material within that woman. We go get her. We want her to work with this company, with this school. But you just got to think outside the box. Start thinking that I can do this. I am greater than you who is within me than he that is in the world. I can. So guess what the box represents, everybody? The box represents a container, being contained. Being contained. I met a little lady one time. She's a comedian. And her name, they used to call her Small Fry. And then she changed it to Small Fire. And I asked her one day, I said, what made you change your name? She said, well, fries you can contain in a box. But fire you can't contain. I'm like, well, all right, there's just a small fire. <laughs> you can't contain fire. You know, I need somebody to realize you are too gifted to be contained. Oh, I felt that one right there. Brother Roberts, I felt, can somebody give God a heart right there? I feel that in my spirit. I am too gifted to be contained. I am too anointed to be contained. I am too smart to be contained. I am too knowledgeable to be contained. Ooh, can somebody give God a heart right there? Y'all, I'm getting happy here. I'm trying not to get happy too quickly. <laughs> but you know, I need us to grab this. I am too anointed to be broke. I, I can't be contained. You, you can't contain me. You can't, you can't contain. And that's the problem that sometimes I have as being a prophet of God. Sometimes being a prophet, God will tell me to do some things that, you know, traditional church, oh, I don't know about. You understand what I'm saying, Sister White. You understand. Some of you understand. You are too gifted. God called you. There are some wonderful singers. I don't want to just sing gospel. Go ahead. Because you're too talented to let people contain you. That's a box. My Aunt Davada, you are too knowledgeable to be contained. Ooh, Sister Monica, you are too, ta Veronica, you are too talented to be contained. In that box represents limitations. Category, you know, some people, what is your category? Uh, what, what you call yourself? What, you know, you got to have a label. That's the box. Think beyond your label. You're a teacher. What kind of teacher are you? You know, I, I thank God, but I'm also this. I'm also that. I do this and that and the other. I am beyond being contained. Is this helping anybody? I am beyond being contained. Abena, I cannot be contained. I'm, I'm too strong. I'm too powerful. That's why I, I need somebody to grab this one now. Watch it. That's why. You are to never be broke. I'm too gifted. I've told y'all before, I'm too gifted to be poor. I'm too knowledgeable to be poor. I, 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 there are too many things I can do. I, don't, mm, mm, I, I, I can't be poor. I'm, I'm, I'm too good looking to be poor. Oh, now, I know some of y'all may laugh at that, but some of you ladies and some of you brothers, y'all, you you just too doggone pretty to be poor. Uh-uh, mm -mm, no, no, can't be poor. Uh-uh, because poverty and your beauty does not mix. I need somebody to say amen right there. That box represents constraints or restraints. You cannot hold me. They want to put Jesus in a box. You got to do it like this. You got to teach over here. You got to come to the synagogue. Jesus, Jesus, I'm, I'm following after Jesus. Jesus went to the beach and he started preaching. He went to the ocean and started preaching. He said, I don't want to just be limited to the synagogue. I don't want to be limited to a church building. That's wonderful. I go there every now and then. But Dr. Mosley got on the internet. I need some hearts right here. I need I need just a few hearts right here. I, I, I really want 17 hearts right here. Dr. Mosley came out of the building building, got on the internet, and began to be worldwide international preaching and teaching the word of God, and God began to bless the people and add it to the church daily. I need a few hearts right there. <laughs> but you got to think outside of the box. Sister Farmer, you got to think outside of, ooh, Lord, I'm trying to, I'm preaching to myself right about now. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm preaching to myself right about now. You got to think outside of the box. There is always more outside of the box than what's within the box. So if you think outside of your four walls, God is saying, whatever you got in here, I got more blessings outside of the box. Remember, whatever's inside the box came from the outside. Some of us, we're afraid to give $20. We're afraid to give $30. We're afraid to give $100. Somebody right now, I do. I feel a miracle seed. Somebody got to give a $333 seed. Not that you got to, but God is asking you to do it. I feel that that's a miracle seed for me. When you plant that $333 seed, God is going to move. Now, that requires you to think outside of the box. I got to think beyond my, my situation. I got to think beyond the, the difficult. I can't think within this just this box because if God gave you the $300, he said, I've got 3,000 more to give you. Whatever came into your hand, it came from outside of your hand. Somebody write this for me. There's more coming to me. I hear the Lord saying that for somebody. Somebody write that for me. There's more coming to me. I need you to realize this. You can only write that if you believe God. There is more coming to me. There is more. How you doing, brother uh, 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 Aaron Bruce Thomas? There is more coming to me. God, I, I, you can't limit me. There is more. Y'all, I felt the power of God right there. Whew. There is more coming to me. I cannot limit the God that I serve, the God that I love. I can't limit him like that. There is life outside of this box. Can I tell you that three people right now that are watching me at this very moment, God is saying it's time for you to move. But we're afraid. Can I handle this? I'm so used to this. I'm used to this one. I'm used to being right here. And God is saying, I want you to move. There is life outside of this box. There's life outside of this apartment. Can I go a little bit further? There's life outside of your divorce. There's life outside of your bankruptcy. There's life outside of your diagnosis. There is life outside of your particular issue. All you got to do is think outside of the box. So what? You got to walk with a cane. Take that cane and keep on walking. So what? Every now and then I got to turn my ear because I'm deaf in one ear. Just turn your ear and keep on listening. Keep on talking. Keep on reading. There is a life beyond what seemingly is limitation. Woo, hallelujah. Y'all, I, I done got myself happy. Sister, Sister Chatham, there is so much more coming to you. You got to believe it, my Aunt Dave Vada. You got to believe it, Chris. There is so much more. God, he never runs out. You know, every year they got new clothes. Every year, almost every day, they got new clothes, new ideas. Every year look like there's a new iPhone coming out. God never run out of ideas. Therefore, he's always given ideas to his people. Does that make sense right there? He's always giving new ideas. I want you to understand this, everybody. God has not forgotten about you. God has not forgotten about you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God, oh, bless your name, Lord. God, ah, I, I feel this in my heart. I really, I feel this in my heart. God has not forgotten about you. When the answer to your situation comes, don't reject it, but accept it with obedience. Don't reject it with that. Oh, that, that can't be. Well, listen, we want to hire you for this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, that's a new company. I don't know. They, 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 I, I don't know. Pray about it. Trust your relationship with God. Here's something, you've been praying for a husband. I need some hearts right here. I, I don't say that. I want some hearts right here on Facebook. <laughs> you've been praying for a husband. You've been praying for a beautiful wife. You've been praying for an answer. God will give you an answer. And then like, oh, that's, that, that, that won't work. That won't work. Again, what does Dr. Mosley say? Talk yourself into it. But but what is this? What is two little, two, two little fish and five loaves? What is that among so many? We can't do nothing with that. God can God will tell you, make a phone call. Call them up and tell them this. But I asked them last time, but you don't know, I'm putting it, in, I, I'm doing something, just do what I'm telling you to do. I have not forgotten about you. When the answer comes, don't reject it. Just follow with obedience. The widow obeyed the prophet. 
she went and got the prophet's food first. That's why God is saying, I need something. You tithe, you give your offering, you obey the prophet of God. Now, I know some of you are, well, I, I need money. I can't, but if you feel the Lord, and I've had this to happen. A man, young man called me yesterday. He said, Dr. Moses, I planted a seed because I, I, I he said, I planted it out of my need. This is not of my abundance. He said, I planted this out of my need. I said, watch God move for you. He said, while you were teaching, I felt something in my spirit. I need to plant. I need to give. And he said, I obeyed God. I said, that's all you need. Now watch what God is about to do. Saints of God, when you feel the leading of God, a lot of times that's what he wants to see. Even in the midst of your struggle, can you follow God? Can you follow the direction of God? Can you follow where he's going? Can you follow what he's doing? The widow obeyed the prophet. She don't even know where, where the next where the next grom is coming from. She don't know where the next drop of water is coming from, but she obeyed the prophet. I Again, I got to tell somebody, obey. I know we don't like that word, y'all. I know. I know we don't like that word, but the Holy Ghost is trying to tell somebody, obey. It's time for you to obey, obey what God is saying. It's time to, oh, ooh, I'm getting happy. I'm trying not to get too happy here. But you got to obey what the Lord is saying here. So we got to remember, he hasn't forgotten about you. Follow the instructions, obey, think outside of the box. Find, can I tell you this? Find others who, who have thoughts or who have thought outside the box, you know, don't just stick around, honey, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Okay, I, I, uh, and that's good to get counseling. But if it goes against what you are feeling in your heart, mm, I got to go with some people that thought outside the box. Uh, we thank God for Kirk Franklin right now. You know what? He took gospel music outside the box. Before him, it was Edwin Hawkins that took gospel music outside the box. There was a lot of other people, but they added more rhythm and added more syncopation and did this and that and the other. And some say, oh, that sounds like the world music. There ain't no such thing as the world music. It's just music. It all came from God. It's the lyrics that make it challenging. Oh, bless his name. Huh? I want us to understand God is telling us right now, I want you to follow Follow what I am. I'm the Lord, your God. Follow what I'm telling you to do. Get outside of the box. Dr. Moses, can I, can I speak about myself? Can I, get a, can, can I get 20 hearts right there? Can I get 20 hearts? Ladies, did you hear me carefully? Let me, let me do this real quickly. Hear me carefully. Hear me carefully. I hear the Lord saying this. Hear me carefully. When we started doing the internet ministry, I had to think outside the box. Wasn't, that, wasn't too many people doing it at all. But I had to trust God. I, and I, the way my mind said, what my mind said was, well, if it worked for the television people, if it worked for the television people, it's going to work for me. That's the way I, I said it. If it's going to work for the television people, if it works for TBN, and if it works for all these other, should it work for me? And that's what the Lord, how the Lord gave it to me. And here we are now there. Facebook has so many people doing it now. And that's wonderful. I'm not, not, oh, that's wonderful. The more the merrier. But it had to start with Dr. Moses, not just myself, but other people, but I can only speak for me. I had to think outside the box. Are you catching me? Somebody just think. Uh, 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 Benna, I, I, I pray you're grabbing this. Think. Think outside the box. God is with you. We got to think outside of the box. God wants to prosper you right now, but you got to think outside of the box. You just cannot stay here and say, well, you know what? Hey, we just go do this and that's it. No, we got to think outside the box. Does that make sense to everybody? We must think outside the box. Let me move on real quickly so I can finish this. And, and we got to understand, stay motivated and realize that all things are possible to him that believes. Somebody just write this for me. I'm thinking. I hear the Lord saying it. Can somebody write that for me real quickly? Two words, I'm thinking. I need somebody to write that. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You, what are you thinking? I'm thinking about getting outside the box. I need somebody to write those two words. I'm thinking. Uh, you got to stay motivated. All things are possible to those that think. 
All things are possible to those that think, ladies and gentlemen. You got to think outside of the box. Oh, I pray right now that we are thinking outside of the box. I cannot stay within the box. I got to get outside of, oh, I feel the power of God. I'm thinking, there you go, Sister Monica. I'm thinking. I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking, Sister Veronica. I'm, I got to think outside of this box because I can't say, uh, you know, I, I, I saw that. I said that earlier. My, my, my beauty and poverty, it don't mix it. Uh -uh. I got to think outside of the box. I'm thinking. How you doing, Kamika? I'm thinking. What can I do to get out of this rut? What can I do to get these bills paid? What can God, I'm opening my mind. Come on. He may say, have a garage. So he may say, take this to goodwill. He may say, well, call this person up. He may, but that is a way. There is no method. What, what, there's no temptation, I'm sorry, that God has given you that he won't give you a way of escape. I got to think. I got to think. I got to think outside of the box right now. Time is of the essence. Oh, I'm uh, call this person for prayer. Call uh, brother Aaron. I think you sent me a message. I believe you sent me a message. We go pray. He's, I think he said I need a right now miracle. We're gonna pray. You got to think outside the box. God is moving for you right now. I'm thinking. You got to combine. Now listen to me carefully, everybody. You got to combine your action with your thoughts, though. The Bible says faith without works is dead. I'm thinking, but I don't want to move. I just want it to come to me. No, you got to get up and move. We got to get up and think. Sometimes I remember one time I, I needed some money. I did. And I don't know why I just felt this urge to start cleaning up my, my house. I felt this urge to clean up my house. And as I was doing it, y'all, uh, I found some money. <laughs> As I was, I found some money. I thought, this is why you wanted me to, you know, I put some, I, I, you know, I, I had a suit and I had some money in my pocket, like $300. And I forgot all about it. Forgot all about it. God is saying, I need you to fight. You got to get up, Lord. I want you to do something for me. Get up. Somebody write that. Get up. Somebody write that. Somebody write that for me. Get up. Get up. Somebody, because you got to get up. You got to think outside the box. You're going to have to act outside of that box. You just cannot stay in the box. Stop saying, I'm, I'm poor and I don't have this and I don't have... Get out of the most shot. Get up and get outside that box, y'all. Get up and get outside that box. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I got to move quickly. My time is leaving me here. But God is saying, I need you to keep thinking and keep expecting. Keep thinking and keep expecting. Keep thinking and keep expecting. So the Bible says, look what he said. So is my word that goes forth uh, out of my mouth. It will not return unto me empty or return unto me void, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. In other words, God said, I gave, I gave you a prophetic word. A Abena, I gave you a prophetic word. I told you that I would rebuke the devourer. I don't know why your name coming to me. Renee, he said to you, I would rebuke the devourer. By you giving your tithe and your offering, he said, I will rebuke the devourer for my name's sake, for his name's sake. Oh, he said, nations will call you blessed, Sister Nancy. Oh, he said, people are going to look upon you, Sister Dickerson, Sister Renee, they're going to call you blessed because of what they see. He said, that word cannot return to heaven void. It's got to accomplish it. Now, the only way that word can miss you if you stop believing. The only way that word can miss you is, is if you stop believing, stop expecting it. Ah, uh, this don't work. Tithing don't really work. Uh, go and looking for these jobs that ain't working. Filling out these applications that ain't working. Holding on and praying ain't working. Where well, the moment you stop believing, it stops working. All things are possible to him that believes. For the revelation, uh, the Bible says in the King James Version, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. It is yet for an appointed time. It speaks of the end and it will not prove false. In other words, that prophecy that you receive, it may be for an appointed time. I thought about that this morning. I was on my little workout thing. And so many prophecies I've given happened years later. It happened years later. God, I don't have time for years. I need it right now. God, I'm, saying, I'm still able to do it for you now. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to sustain you from here and now and later. I got you. 
So if I told you that word and it hasn't come back yet, it hasn't come to pass yet, I gave you that word to cause you to hold on to me, to keep believing. The revelation awaits uh, an appointed time. It speaks and it will not lie. Though it lingers, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. I, 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 I need about 100 hearts right there. Give, give, give me give me just those of you on Facebook, give, press, just press a few hearts right there. I, because I want you to grab that in your spirit. Though it lingers, wait for it. Those of you on the Zoom software, though it lingers, wait for it. Though it seems like it's not coming, wait for it. Though it seems like it's not going to manifest, wait for it. Though it looks like it's not going to turn out for your good, wait for it. It may look like this is not going to work. It's all in vain. I'm tired of it. Wait for it. You've been dreaming about this thing, dreaming about I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Though it lingers, wait for it. God's word cannot return to him void. It's got to happen for you. Ooh, we. I'm getting happy here. I want somebody to understand this right now. Whatever you have been praying for, whatever you have been believing God for, it it's got to happen. It's got to happen. Did you hear what I said? It's got to happen. It's got to happen right now. It's got to happen. You got to trust in the power of God. You got to hold on to God. You got to believe even in yourself. Is that making any sense? Huh? You got to believe in yourself. Though it tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. Did you hear me? But Lord, I've been waiting a long time. I know it. I know it. But there were some things he was doing within you. You know how we do our children when they ask them to come on, walk. You know, they're learning how to walk as babies. Come on. And then you, you they're almost close to you. Then you move back a little bit. Come on. I'm, wait, I'm coming. Take it, but I'm trying to strengthen your muscles. That's what I'm trying to do. Somebody write this for me. God was strengthening me. God, God was giving me strength. God was giving me strength. Sister, Sister Chatham, a lot of you that are watching me right now, I want you to realize this. Abena, God was giving you strength. Sister Ann, Kamika, God was giving you strength. Well, why take it so long? He was really building up your muscles so that you can really be a woman of God, a man of God. He was giving you strength. I know it's just like, uh, but I already got strength. I understand. You think you do. I know, and that's good. But I want to add more to it. Uh, you know, some things I realize. Um, you know what, you all, I said this today. I have a little uh, elliptical machine. And I, I don't know if I've lost any weight. I don't know. But one thing I do like about it is I get up in the morning, and that's my sign to say, if I can get through with them 30 minutes, I can come, I can handle anything that comes my way today. It's my time to say, okay, let me handle Let me start off with a little struggle. And I'm sweating and everything. <laughs> but then when I get through, I say, that's my motivation. If I can make it to those 30 minutes, I got it for the rest of the day. I got it. That's my, my moment of pride, and I'm proud of myself. Anybody understand what I'm saying? God is giving you strength. If I can make it through that, that, that 30 minutes of a workout, ooh-wee. If you can make it through what you're going through, you can make it through anything, and that's what he was doing. Oh, he's going to give you the $80,000. He's going to give you the, the 50 grand. He's going to give you the 100000 the million dollars. If that's your request, he has no problem, but he had to strengthen you that you can handle. He wants to give you a, a husband or a wife, but he, he wants to strengthen you so we'll know how to talk, how to, how, how to uh, keep a marriage, how to hold on to this. He wants to strengthen you. God, it, he's not denying you. He is strengthening you. Oh, I got to. I got to quit. But I want you to realize this, everybody. You got to think outside the box. Stop thinking, well, he just don't want me to have it. No, he does want you to have it. He just said, think outside the box. I just want this. But you know what? I thank God. And I've told you all this before. I thank God for television. Television calls me to think outside the box. 
Television took me into the home of the Brady Bunch, and I said, I want that. Television took me into the home of the Huxtables, and I said, I want that. It, I had to think outside. Oh, I had a nice little bitty house, you know, where I grew up in. Thank God for a lot of love, beautiful, uh, beautiful atmosphere, wonderful food. My wife, my mother was a wonderful cook. But I, I had to think outside the box. It was a six-room house, you know. There wasn't nothing that really fancy about it. But oh, my sister and I, we had to think outside the box. And God has blessed us. God is waiting to bless you according to your thoughts. I need somebody to write that. God is waiting to bless me according to my thoughts. I, I got to quit. My time is up. I, I, I want to pray. God is waiting to bless me according to my thoughts. I, I, God, thank you, Jesus, he is waiting to bless me according to my thoughts. When you give today, I want you to think outside the box. Sister Monica, thank you so much for your offering. Others of you have planted, but I, wanted, I want to encourage you. It's time to think outside the box. Uh, I really see some flowers for you, Sister Monica. I really, I see some flowers. Uh, now, flowers represents beauty. I see flowers. And God is, and I see, it's almost like you growing the flowers. And they're beautiful. It's showing you what you can do. God is really, this, I want to say these past, I'm sorry, but I want to say five years. God has been beautifying you, but he's been utilizing your talents to grow beautiful flowers within you. God has, God has been wanting, ready to bless you according to your thoughts. Sister Monica, get ready for a financial, and I want you to really hear me. I don't know why I'm saying this, but a $1,000 increase in your finances, I want you to expect it. Think about it. Start praising God for it. Others of you, I want you to plant your seed. The, 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 I believe you can see the cash app there on the screen. Or you can text the word increase to 40691. I am a prophet and that's why I teach a lot of things the way I do. It's to elevate your mind. I want to pray. Brother Aaron, I don't know if you're still on here. Uh, but I want to believe God for your need saints of god i want you those i want you to plant your seed right now there is somebody i want you to plant a 333 a 333 dollar offering i have too many of you i think deacon johnny is on here i think he's in the watch party too many of you he's one that i've had a tremendous testimony of my prophetic gifting i'm speaking money for the people of God. I'm speaking increase for the people of the Lord. I want you to know this. Again, you got to think outside the box. Can God do it? I'm going to take it even go a step further than that. He wants to do it. He wants to do it. I said I would never leave Houston. I ain't want to go nowhere. I love and I still love Houston. But he didn't have me move to California and now I'm in Georgia. And I love Georgia. I love Georgia. But I, in, order, in order for me to do that, I had to think outside the box. I want somebody right now, I want you to plant your offering. Sister Ann, I understand. You said, I want a money miracle. I want you to be believe God to, and expect it happening right now. Happening right now. That money miracle, Sister Ann, I want you to know it's happening now. Not 30 days from now. Receive it now. Now, Sister Ann, you're going to find some change. Just some change. You're going to find some change. I want you to, when you find that change, a few nickels, a few pennies, or whatever it is, I want you to thank God for the change and, and watch the change turn into more money. That's what he's telling me. The change is going to turn into more money. 
Hallelujah. Monique, thank you. You um uh you and your husband was in my prayer this morning as well. I'm believing the Lord. Now, the word he's giving me, Monique uh, Cooper, brother and sister Cooper, is extension. Something is being extended. You know how some people extend your hand, so something is being either offered or extended. The word I hear is extended. And it's going to be, uh, or it is rather, very benefiting to you. Keep your mind set open. Keep your mind set beyond what you have now. Keep your mind, that's what he's telling me. Keep thinking outside of limitations because you all are leaders of the unlimited. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I'm going to write that down. I like that. Leaders of the unlimited. Y'all, I'm serious. That hit my spirit right there. Now, somebody else, you better grab that one. <laughs> Somebody else, you better grab that one. That that was good. That was good for me. I want you to plant your offering. I want you to, Sister Renee, God was giving you strength. I want you to believe God right now. I want you to believe. Those of you that are on the phone line, text the word increase to 40691. Text the word increase to 40691. Uh, my darling sister, I thank you so very much. I want you to realize this. Believe God. Now, I don't know. Two things come to me is uh, my nephew, Stefan. And I see him standing really tall and pride, proud, proud and happy. Everything is well regarding him. And, I, and the other thing is the ministry. We're going to think beyond the box. We're going to think beyond the box. God has given your your ministry a great lift because you are an encourager to those persons that have been um, uh, overwhelmed with pressure. This is the way it's coming to me. You 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 all have been called to give a lift to those persons that have been overwhelmed with pressure. Anytime somebody, uh, and I, I never thought about this, this is thinking outside the box, y'all. Um, anytime somebody reverts to drug usage, it's because they have a pressure. And, well, most of the time, I should say, there's a pressure, and they're trying to escape that pressure. They're trying to escape the pain. So God is saying, it really is not the drugs, it's them having to, how to handle being overwhelmed with pressure. God is going to give you all a ministry of how to deal, how to encourage people to deal with pressure. I never heard it like that before. I never heard it like that before. Wow. Uh, you, you felt that too, Sister Farmer? I'm a leader of the unlimited. Good God, that got me. <laughs> I had to write that one down. I'm serious. I want those of you, somebody else is planting your seed. I want to thank you for you giving your offering. And again, there's somebody, I don't know if you've done it already. I just have to tell you because I don't know the, what, what is what. But I want you to plant your seed. Somebody is planting that $333 seed offering. Because it's, um, uh, you know, the three is equal nine. Nine means a manifestation. If you really need a major manifestation, um, it's, it's, it's got to happen. It's got to happen. God is going to move for you. God is moving for you. Plant your offer. You may have that $22. You may have that $11 seed. You may have 111 Whatever the Lord lays upon your heart. I want maybe that $50 seed. Thank you very kindly. Others of you have sown. I want you to plant your tithe, plant your offering, and believe God. Well, you are blessed on the day. I, I, I'm not finished with my, my, my lesson, but I'm, I'm finished for the day. Um, and that's what I heard the Lord. Really, I heard the Lord. Uh, but I want you to stay encouraged, everybody. I, I, whew, it just got good to me. It just got good to me, everybody. But I want you to believe God for your increase right now. Those of you that are on the phone line, text the word increase to 40691. Uh, uh, thank you, Sister Veronica. Uh, uh, yeah, don't forget to give. You can go to the website and you can give as well to Givelify. I just bless God. Everybody, now today is Saturday. I want you to think 
I want you to get excited. Think outside the box. I want you to get ready for God to do great things for you. You know, really. Uh, and let's believe God, Sister Chatham. Oh, you know what, Sister Chatham? I don't know if you're still watching, but a lot of you, you're one of them. Sister Dixon, uh, Dickerson, rather, uh, Sister Veronica Dixon, Valentia, uh, several of you on here. Uh, uh, the Smith family, my uncle and my aunt. You know, uh, 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 so many of you are, I come to, I really do feel, Sister Richardson, I really do feel, I feel this, um, I don't know how to explain it though. I feel like a treasure box. Uh, only way I could, like, it's a, like a solid piece of gold right here in my chest. What is in you, which is gold, is about to be manifested for you. Oh, that was good. I'm sorry, that was good. That's what I heard. What is in you is being manifested. He had to correct me for you. I gotta write that down again, y'all. Gotta... <laughs> what is in you is being manifested for you. Now, did somebody catch that one? Did somebody give, give me a heart if you got that one? Give, give me a heart if you if you got that one. Give me a heart if you got that one, everybody. Uh, I, I I don't know if that makes any sense, uh, but I, I need somebody that can get that, can understand that. What is in you is being manifested for you. Did y'all get that one? Did y'all get that one? What is in you is being manifested for you. That's what I heard. But you got to think outside the box now. You got to think outside the box because you got gold inside it. You got to get it out because that gold is going to bless you. It's coming out to bless you. What is in you? These ideas that you have, these million, they're about to be manifested for you. Oh, y'all, I really got to do a teaching. I got to do a teaching. Um, well, I, 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 I see if I can probably do it uh, next week. I got to do this teaching because uh, we're in a season now about things uh, being manifest and I have to do this teaching because it is in this season. Uh, but what is in you is being manifested for you. Listen, everybody, I pray you were blessed. Did you get your offering in? Did you get your, did you get your offering in? I pray that you did. I thank you so very much. I really do. I appreciate what is in you. Thank you, Sister White. <laughs> I thank you, Sister White. What is in you? Whew, I'm serious, y'all. That hit me. That hit me. This, this season that we are in, a lot of things that you have sown, I'm, I'll talk about it, hope maybe, uh, uh, hopefully I will, in the next couple of days or so, uh, by next week, maybe. Uh, but what you... This is, it's a season that we are in right now, uh, between now and the month of September, that a lot of us, a lot of you are going to receive things from what you have sown. Is, is you going to, I, I make sense of it, but I just know this, that a lot of us are about to receive major blessings because of the seeds that you have sown and you're going to receive it. Uh, uh, it's coming now. But you're going to see a lot of things happen between now and the month of September, okay? Just hold on to that, okay? You're going to receive a lot. But what is in you, ooh, is about to manifest for you. Did you hear me? What is in you? But you got to think outside the box. Come on, this is when your ideas are better. This is when they're ready to fly. They're ready to take off. This is, you got to think out, Sister White, yeah, Think outside the box. Mm -hmm. I'm going up here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to live like this. I'm going to, yes, start. I'm doing this right now. I'm thinking outside the box. And ladies and gentlemen, I cannot stress it enough. Obey. I know we don't like that word, but obey what your heart tells you. Obey what your spirit tells you. Take the family out to eat. You know, take them out to eat. Oh, we ain't got the, but the spirit is leading you. Do this. You don't know who is in that restaurant that's going to bless you. You don't know what's going to happen. 
You just don't know. And, and sometimes it's just a way for you to uh, uh, eliminate stress and, and get happy. You know, have fun with your children. Obey what the Spirit leads you to do. Think outside the box. You're not going to drown. I prompt it may look like it, but you're not. You got to trust God, okay? You got you, you to gotta do the fallback test. You going you gonna to catch me? You sure you're going to catch me? But you got to fall back and know that God's got you. All right, I got to go. Somebody write that for me. God's got me. <laughs> God's got me. A banner, God's got you. Think outside the box. He got you, okay? He's ready. If you think outside the box, you all you're doing is throwing a rope outside, and God's got us, and I'm going to pull you up. Come on, I'm going to pull you all up, all right? God's got you. Listen, everybody, thank you very much. Thank you for your offering. Thank you for your support. Keep me in your prayers. Inbox me. Inbox me. I pray that you will bless. Inbox me. Those of you on Facebook, those of you that are watching me on the Zoom software, uh, uh, go to the website. You can send me a message. Send me your prayer request. I definitely believe in praying for you. I really do. I I definitely pray for you. Thank you, uh, Veronica. Give my love to Yousef and all the saints of God. To all of you, I bless God for you. Thank you for being on. Uh, my Aunt Davada, Abena, keep going. You hear me? God's got you. All right, Father, I pray I've done an, uh, an efficient job in, in relaying the message of hope and encouragement and thinking outside the box for your people. Whenever we encounter the prophetic anointing, it is to cause us to think outside the box. Whenever we encounter the prophetic gifting, it, it promotes us to think. It requires us to think outside the box. So today, as they have been encountering the anointing of God with the prophet of God, myself. I pray that I have encouraged and motivated and stimulated them to think outside the box and for you to get the glory out of our thoughts. It is so in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. Amen. I bless God for your apostle. How you doing? God bless your apostle Montague. To all of you, I praise God for you. Now let's continue to be blessed, to trust God, and think outside the box. I bless God for you, everybody. I love you dearly. To all of you on Facebook, thank you very much for your prayers and your support. Keep me in your prayers. Would you do that? Keep me in your prayers. God bless you. I'll talk to you again real soon. Blessings, everybody.